If you are struggling to stay full and satisfied whilst losing weight right now, here are seven plant foods you should be eating. Now, these some foods are actually taken from a mod life spoken about quite a bit on this channel. You can actually find old videos where I've talked about this called the Satiety Index, which basically, I mean, you can go and check it out for yourself, but a scale uh, for measuring how full certain foods can make you. I think it's really wonderful. Anecdotally, whilst all of these seven are taken from the Satiety Index, index excuse me, anecdotally, I very much agree with this. I think for me, these foods wonderfully filling, and I've certainly noticed that with feedback from clients and just people I've interacted with here over the years. So these are great. Add lots of these things into your diet if you're struggling to get full and satisfied right now whilst losing weight. Let's jump in without further ado. Number one, you probably guessed it, potatoes. White or sweet potatoes, incredible for this. I won't spend too long on those. I've talked enough about potatoes over the years. Lentils really stand out. Now, generally speaking, the whole pulse category, and again, we know why, so rich in fiber amongst other things, but the whole pulse category, uh, legumes more widely, excellent in terms of their ability to fill you up, but lentils are a real standout in this regard. Actually, baked beans are very high in the satiety index too. Baked beans I'm not opposed to, I just think they're a backup plan because sometimes the sauce in baked beans not the best stuff in the world, not necessarily quote unquote Puritan, is it? You can make your own actually, but baked beans, which are haricot beans, or that's how they're known here in the UK, they're the bean that goes in baked beans, incredible for fullness. Oats, now the caveat here is oats, but particularly in oatmeal or porridge form, I stress that because there's lots of things you can do with oats. You can, of course, blend them up into smoothies. You can make cookies and flapjacks out of them, oat bars out of them, but they are most effective for satiation, according to the satiety index studies, um, when they're actually made into oatmeal or porridge. So that's worth noting. Popcorn is number four on our list here. Popcorn, I've talked about, you know, th things of concern or causes for concern with popcorn. If you're having a bag of popcorn every day and you're not losing weight right now, I mean, it depends what else you're doing, of course, but popcorn might be one of the first things you look at because of its caloric density compared to lots of other plant foods. But in terms of the fullness it can give, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So it is worth stressing here. It is worth noting here. Uh, number five on our list here, apples, and now we get into the fruits. Apples, again, fruit, water-rich, hydrating, filling stuff with a very low calorie density, so incredible for weight loss too. But in terms of satiety, the big three that stand out are apples, number one, number two, oranges, and then number three, and our seventh and final food on this list, one of my personal favorite fruits, grapes. The fullness that I get personally from grapes is absolutely unparalleled. There's no fruit for me personally, I believe, that rivals it, but apples and oranges, and more widely, the citrus fruits, incredible for satiation too. So add these seven foods, or some of these seven foods at least, to your diet if you're not having lots of them, excuse me, already, and I truly believe it can really help you stay more full and satisfied. It's worth me stressing one final point here, and it's this question of whether, and I've spoken about this a lot recently, so I won't harp on about it much, whether your calorie deficit for weight loss is too harsh and too aggressive right now, in which case, these seven foods that I've just given you, they might not save you. In fact, what you need is to maybe lower your calorie deficit so you're still in one, but it's a little bit more sustainable and manageable and doesn't feel so depriving as a very harsh and aggressive one. That's my final point here to consider. If you need coaching from me, go to ryandoescoaching.com. I'll speak to you soon.